Precious Saint, I welcome you on behalf of the presbytery of this church to this week's service, our midweek service. And I hope you are ready because the power of God is present right here and is reaching out to you. I welcome you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I like to worship God together as we take some few songs and I encourage you to join us to worship God. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. Living room, 
wherever you are right now, go ahead and worship the name of the Lord. Exalt Him. He's worthy of praise. He's worthy of honor. Father, we worship you. We magnify your name. You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. Lion of Judah, we praise you. You are the great God of wonders. You are the I am that I am. The first and the last, the beginning and the end. We magnify your name this hour. Thank you for your presence that is here. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your word is going forth to touch right now. To take all the glory and honor. For we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Precious saint, I'd like you to open with me to the book of Luke, chapter 6. Luke Gospel, chapter 6. I will be sharing with you on the topic that says, Restoration for the withered hand. Restoration for the withered hand. Luke, chapter 6. From verse 6 to verse 11. Luke chapter 6, from verse 6 to verse 11. And it came to pass also on another Sabbath that he entered into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man whose right hand was withered. And the scribes and Pharisees watched him whether he would heal on the Sabbath day that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts and said to the man which had the withered hand, Rise up and stand forth in the midst. And he arose and stood forth. Then said Jesus unto them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good or to to do evil, to save life, or to destroy it. Verse 10. And looking round about upon them all, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he did so. And his hand was restored whole as the other. And his hand was restored whole as the other. This is one of the most interesting stories in scripture. The Bible says, on a certain Sabbath day, Jesus went into the synagogue. And when he got into the synagogue, the master saw a man with a withered right hand. I like what the scripture says, the man was a, with the, a withered right hand. In other words, the right hand of the man was completely withered. And the Bible says that Jesus was set to minister to this man. Now, I want you to know that the withered hand here could signify a destiny. A destiny that is withered. The withered hand here could signify a ministry that is about to die. It could signify a church that is gradually dying. The withered hand could signify a family that joy is gradually leaving that family. The withered hand could represent your health. Something is dying inside of you gradually. It could also mean a business. The withered hand could represent an academics that is about to die. And something very significant, the Bible says, the man was with a withered right hand. Why did the Bible specify that it was a right hand? Why? Because your right hand is your symbol of authority. Because your right hand represents the labors of your hand, the works of your hand. That's why the Bible says that the right hand of the Lord do it valiantly. The Bible says, with his outstretched hands, he brought out the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So your right hand is a symbol of authority. It's the symbol of your labors, the works of your hands. The Bible says, this man's right hand was withered. 
today I don't know what is withering in your life but the power of God is here is, and is reaching out to you wherever you are I stand on the word of God to declare that whatever is withering in your hands in your life it will come back to life in the mighty name of Jesus to wither means to die gradually to wither means to die gradually when you pluck a leaf from the tree it does not just die immediately it takes some time for the leaf to die it withers and then finally goes off so to wither means for something to die gradually to wither number two is to lose freshness to lose freshness a marriage can lose freshness business can lose freshness a man's value can lose freshness and I'm speaking to you in the name of Jesus today whatever in your life has lost freshness there will be a return in the mighty name of Jesus I like you to connect your faith with this altar because on this altar the power of God is available right now as the word of God is going right to where you are there is a restoration for you in the mighty name of Jesus number three to wither is to dry up to begin to dry up in other words the hand the right hand of the man was withered his business was withering his life was withered his authority was withered the power of God is available so to wither means to dry up there are times that your health begins to dry up. There are times that your prayer life begins to dry up. There are times that your worship life is empty. Today, the power of God is here to touch you again. All what God wants you to do is to launch out in faith and receive your restoration number four to wither means to lose value <laughs> to lose value when a man begins to lose value men do not reckon with him again when something loses value you can't make use of it again you can't go close to it again when a man dies you hear me a man is important while he's alive immediately a man loses his breath he loses value i don't know what is losing value in your life i do i'm speaking right now in the name of jesus to that family that has lost value to that destiny that has lost value to that business that has lost value in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the power of God upon this altar I speak restoration of value in the mighty name of Jesus I stand on the mandate of the servant of God the apostle over this circuit to declare that value is restored to you in the mighty name of Jesus to wither means to be twisted there are people that are going about that their lives are twisted twisted destinies everything about your life everything about your destiny is twisted things do not go straight it is a symbol that something is gradually dying in your life when it gets to your turn things begin to twist life just gets twisted left right and center the word of God is here today launch out in faith and there will be a restoration let me hear you say amen now the Bible speaking says that Jesus when he got into the synagogue and after all the deliberations with the scribes and the Pharisees he told the man 
to stand in the midst of the people the Bible says he said to him stretch forth thy hands and when the man stretched forth his hand his hands were restored praise the Lord restoration means to return to life to, re to be restored means that life has returned oh I came in the name of Jesus and I'm announcing to you that life is returning to you again that home that has lost joy joy is restored again that ministry that has lost joy joy and power revelation and insight is being restored in the mighty name of Jesus whatever you have lost by the power of the Holy Ghost I decree restoration I decree complete and total restoration in the mighty name of Jesus restoration means renewal renewal of purpose renewal of life of righteousness renewal of prayer life I know there are people during this lockdown your spiritual life has gone bankrupt your spiritual energy has gone very low you have lost your prayer altar you have lost your worship altar it it, 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 it began to wither away but the power of God is here as I speak in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost there is a renewal in your prayer life there is a renewal in your worship life there is a renewal in your righteousness in the name of Jesus say I receive ah restoration means to return to value return to value ah somebody's value is returning now in the mighty name of Jesus your family will see your need again your family will see your usefulness again in your office where you were despised where you were rejected where they took decision without you because your value is returning receive your value again in the mighty name of Jesus I'm speaking to a, a pastor I'm speaking to a minister I'm speaking to a father to a mother I'm speaking to a son in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the oil that is upon this commission receive your restoration in the mighty name of Jesus stretch forth your hands wherever you are by faith Jesus said to that man stretch forth your hands the Bible says when he stretched forth his hands in faith the Bible speaking says his hand was completely restored wherever you are in your house in your business premises in your office listening and watching call your family call your friends stretch for your hands receive the touch of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of Jesus I speak to families by the mandate of God upon my life and by the anointing that is upon the, the presbyter of this circuit, I reach out to you right now, wherever you are, receive restoration. In your health, receive restoration. In your business, receive restoration. In your family, receive restoration. In every aspect of your life, receive restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I bless your name in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, heal and restore. In the mighty name of Jesus. Touch every family right now. Touch every home right now. Renew their lives. In the name of Jesus. Give people testimonies. Open doors. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me hear you say amen. Now, if you have not surrendered your life to Christ, I'd like to give you an opportunity to respond to the altar call. To respond to Jesus at this hour. And say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you came to die for me. I acknowledge that I am a sinner. Please forgive my sins. Cancel my name from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. 
from today I am born again in Jesus name Lord I thank you for that one that man that woman who has surrendered his life or her life to you accept him or her this hour thank you precious father for we pray in the name of Jesus Christ amen hallelujah we're going to worship God again and give him praise worship him for what he has done thank him and praise him you are wonderful you are worthy oh lord you are wonderful give him praise God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with all of us now.